In sales, it's never a bad time to do something good. I once had a, a prospect that was just about to purchase our software to embed in his when he had a catastrophe. One of, one of his software developers had sabotaged their software and then quit. He told our rep everything would have to be put on hold. It was a tough situation for our prospect because it was affecting his customers. While it seemed like our deal was in jeopardy, it really presented us with the opportunity to do good for him and do good for us. We decided to give him our software with exceptionally good terms. He was already under financial pressure from having consultants on site trying to clear up the mess with his application and the generous term seems like it would ease his pain. He could get goodwill from his customers and we would still make the sale and a friend. This is one of those most artful calls you will ever make in sales. You must be helpful and empathetic, appear not to be self-serving to get the deal done. Here's how the conversation would go. Hi, Ted. I'm calling to see how you're doing after that horrible incident with your developer. Just pause here and let them tell you the story. Ask a few sincere questions and listen, and do not interrupt. And at the appropriate time say, you know, I was thinking about your situation and I had an idea. At this point, wouldn't it be great if you could offer something to your customers and not have it hit your wallet right away? He confirmed and said, that'd be great. I said, first, let me say, Ted, say this. It's not unselfish in our part. Now this is a crucial statement because you're bringing up the elephant in the room, which is what's in it for you, Louis? You want to continue. We want you as a customer, but we really want you as a happy customer. Let's go ahead and sign you up for our software. You can then let your customers use it and enjoy its benefits so they are not thinking about how upset they are. You don't pay us anything for 90 days while you work out everything else. You have enough to deal with. This approach can work well if you start with the attitude of being helpful. Be helpful and people will help you.